Hey, come on in. Join Pastor Darlene Bell for Excite Life Radio Show. We're going on air in a few minutes. Tag a neighbor, tag a friend. I'm so excited. Glory to God. Live on WMKM 1440. I always say the number one station in the nation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Woo, and the music that's playing, no, we don't own the rights to it, but it's some good music. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's just get ready to get a good, encouraging word, a good, strengthening word. God is still the same today as he was yesterday and forever. He will not change. He cannot change. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Tag a neighbor, tag a friend. And you may be in your car radio. To, uh, listen to WMKM 1440 AM on your AM dial. Yes, 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 yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Or gospel1440.com on your smartphone. Or your computer. Welcome back to the family. Gospel 1440 AM, WMKM. It is now time for the Exciting Life Radio broadcast with your hosts, Darlene and Sarah, and your special guest host, Minister Derek, Mr. Dress Up Taylor, right here on AM 1440. Hey, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on in, come on in. Uh, this is Pastor Darlene Bell, live on another edition of Exciting Life Radio Show, brought to you from Exciting Life Christian Center, where yours truly are the pastors, myself, hallelujah, Dr. Pastor Darlene Bell, along with my beautiful sister, Dr. Pastor Sarah Riddle, Riddle Taylor. Listen, tag a neighbor, tag a friend. We're also going simultaneously live on Facebook. So you can join us on our Facebook Live, or you can also go to uh, gospel1440.com on your smartphone or internet. Hey, man, we are excited. So listen, my friend, I want to get this um, ministry started. God bless our uh, radio attendee by way of Facebook Live, Evangelist Sarah Bell, my youngest daughter, the beautiful Pretty ex uh Evangelist Sarah Bill, welcome, welcome. Hey, she says hi. Hi. <laughs> and of course, I am recording live from Studio B. Amen. Amen. Remotely. And I thank God for technology on today. Shout out to our beautiful DJ Brenda in the house. God bless you, Brenda. <laughs> Amen. Valerie Sarah Bell says, ready to hear good word. God bless you richly and abundantly. She says, you look beautiful. Thank you, beautiful daughter. You're always so pretty. Listen, my friend, a uh, couple of announcements now, and I'll give some more later. Tune in to Darlene and Sarah, Gospel Spectacular TV show. Yes, aired on Comcast Cablevision every Sunday. If you are in Detroit, 6.30 p.m. Channel 20. If you live in East Oakland and Macomb Counties, 8 o'clock a.m. Channel 90. If you don't have Comcast, don't worry about it. That's what we're going to talk about, stress-free life. Go to Bell Global Network. That is my second oldest son and his wonderful wife's network. And you can... um. Find all the good, we got a lot of good shows on there. And it's also all good ministries. That's BGNTVGospel.com. BGNTVGospel.com. And if you're a minister, or if you got something to share, amen. You may have just some good knowledge. If you're on Facebook, listen. Pray about it. If you feel late, go to Anton Choir Boy Bell and tell him that his mommy and his auntie said you get a discount to get your own TV show. Amen. Pray about it. But listen, my friend, uh, also tomorrow, help me say tomorrow, July 8th, which will be Angelo's birthday. Woo! Happy birth pre-birthday to you, uh, Low Bell, and happy birthday to baby Andre. Amen. Uh, one of Excite Life Christian Center's active members. Amen. 
So God bless. But tomorrow I will be doing the show at 7.30 p.m. Please mark your calendars. And you will go to licmc.net. Come on. licmc.net. That is London, London Washington's radio streaming show. 7.30 p.m. Thursdays, every second Thursday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the name of my show is Moments of Inspiration with Pastor Darling Bell. Amen. So you want to be shown up, inspired? That's the place to be right now and tomorrow. Listen, uh, my friend, I, what I'm doing is I, I took an excerpt from one of my sermons that I had preached uh, it says September 27, 2020. A lot of times the Lord will just have me go back and get some of the excerpts of sermons because they all are so good because it's the word from the Lord. So I want to, you to impart this with you. Living the stress-free life. Now, first of all, I want you to say I'm too blessed to be stressed. In fact, that's the subtitle. Living the stress-free life, too blessed. To be stressed. You may say, Pastor Darling, is that possible in this day and age with all the stuff that's going around us? Whoop, put a pause button. As a child of God, we're in the world. We're not of the world. Now, I'm not saying we're oblivious to the hurt, the pain that's going on. Nope. Child, we pray. You know, you watch the news, immediately you go into a gear. Lord, bless that family. Help that family get through this. Lord, help that mother. Help that daddy. We pray. But God is somehow able to keep us in the midst of everything that's going on around us. Amen. We're not jumping off this uh, boat of safety. Child, live in Psalm 191. Not 191, but Psalm 91. He said he'll give his angels charge over us, keep us in all our way. He also given us the blood of Jesus to cover us and pine us and protect us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Evangelist Sarah Bell says, too blessed to be stressed. She said, good word. Glory. Now listen, let's talk about what is stress. Glory to God. Some people just, they say, oh, they're so stressed and they're just full of anxiety. And I know you're feeling this, but my friend, I got some good news. Woo! Good news is that there's someone bigger than any stress that you may be experiencing. Yes, stress is real. But guess what? God is bigger. Amen. But God is a gentleman. He's not going to just force himself into your life. We have to always invite him. What? Yes, we are free will creations. God wants us to willingly serve him, willingly praise him, willingly allow him to take the will of our life and to be the director of our life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, listen, in the natural, especially since what, 2020, and this is 2021, child, you, child, you listen to this, say, Lord, I thank you. You should be dancing all over the place. And that reminds me, we're going to have a praise break tonight. I will announce the time. But Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you for bringing me through. Ooh, Lord, I know you will continue to keep me. Glory to God and my loved ones and my family. Hallelujah. In the natural times that we're living in, it, this has been said to be one of the most challenging times in history. However, amongst everything that's been going on. You know, you watch the news and you want to stay relevant. And of course, oh my God, amongst everything, I have good news. You know how the news station, some will say breaking news. I got some breaking news. Hello. <laughs> my breaking news is you as a believer, are you a believer? Not a doubter now. I'm talking about those that shown up blood washed, soaked in Jesus. Jesus soaked in you. <laughs> Woo! He is the director of your life. I got some good news for you, woman. I've got some good news for you, man. Glory to God. You can live the stress-free life. Shown up, shown up. Hallelujah. Now, stress is emotional strain. It is tension resulting from adverse or very demanding circumstance. Sometimes, listen, mothers out there, and you know, I'm a mommy of six grown children. Hallelujah. Successful. On their own, a lot of them are married with babies, so I'm a successful mother of six children. I've got, uh, what, sons-in-law, daughters-in-law, grandbabies, grand, furry grandbabies, but they are all on their own. 
Woo! Okay, calm down, darling. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Jesus. But as a mommy with young babies in my early days growing up, I had six. I wanted a lot of kids. My husband, I had a husband. Now. Come on now. Husband, 38 years. He's in heaven. But yeah, I had a husband. Amen. But he's still in my heart. But listen, I, I, I'm a retired teacher. I would leave like little ones, little five, six-year-olds, come home to little ones. So sometimes I would just have to take some darling time. Take me time. Every mommy that's watching this. Take some me time. Now, of course, you know, spend as much time as you can with the Lord, but take you some me time. I don't know who that word is for. And even those of you that may not have children yet, I, child babies are coming in those wombs. Hi, Abosha, I bless you right now. Take some me time. Take time for you. Let's get back into this. So stresses can be very demanding circumstances, especially those that work. You got to get up. You're on a time frame. Child, but take Jesus with you. And every day say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Those that's going on a workplace. God will keep you. He will help you. Glory to God. So the synonym or the uh, meaning of stress, similar words, worry, anxiety, nervousness, difficulty, hassle. But the opposite of that is where God wants us. Peace, relaxation. Tranquility. See, this day and age, everything is microwave, microwave. I want it. I want my blessing. I want it right now. God is not a microwave God. Hallelujah. You wait on Jesus. Evangelist Sarah Bell says, yes. She said, me time is mandatory. And no weapon formed against us shall prosper. You, baby, you better learn that word. And that word is your sword. So, the, the opposite of stress is what God wants us. Now, stress is not a joke. It can cause rise in one's blood pressure. Do a little research. It can raise your heartbeat, blood sugar levels, and et cetera, and et cetera. But the Bible, let me give you scripture. Philippians 4 and 6 says, be careful for nothing. Don't worry about, it. you may say, pastor, how can I not worry? Because it's given a solution. By, listen, it says, be careful for nothing, but in everything, everything means all. By prayer and supplication, what with thanksgiving. Amen. You don't just come with a grocery bag for, well, Lord, uh, my name is Jimmy. I'll take all you give me. No, Lord. Jesus, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Now, you may have been experiencing some symptoms. Lord, I think your word says with your stripes, I'm healed. You were wounded for my transgression, bruised by my iniquity, the chastisement of my peace was upon. Lord, I trust you. I thank you, Lord. You are the Prince of Peace. You are the mighty God. Lord, I thank you. Luke 137 says that with you, nothing is impossible. I thank you, Lord, oh, for healing me, healing my circumstance. I thank you, Lord, for rescuing that child that may have gone astray. I thank you, Lord, for putting a baby in my belly. I I thank you, Lord, for blessing me with a good husband, a good wife. I thank you, Lord, for blessing me, opening that door for, for giving me a good job. Thank you, Lord, for helping me get my business. Thank you, Lord, for blessing my ministry. Lord, giving us the facility that we need. You thank God. Oh, good word, Pastor. Darling Bell. He better as Sarah Bell says, hey, man, you know, David had to encourage himself. Woo, thank you, Sarah Bell, for your encouragement. Evangelist Sarah Bell. Everything means all. Let your requests be made known unto God. Let's pray a quick prayer right now. What's bothering you? Father, in Jesus' name, I lift that woman. I lift that man. But we thank you that you've turned that situation around. You've opened up that door. You, you have healed their body. You put that baby, Lord, in that woman's womb. Lord, we thank you for doing the impossible right now in Jesus' name. You say that's a quick prayer. It only takes one little tiny, tiny Moment of faith. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And then verse 7 of Philippians 4 and 7 says, And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind. It's something about when we pray. Lord, I thank you. That peace will come. Peace that passes all understanding. God bless my other beautiful, pretty daughter. Marietta Elliott. God bless you. Thank you for stopping by, girl. <laughs> Amen. Uh, how to live the stress-free life. Say, I'm too blessed to be stressed. Take the yoke of Jesus upon you. A yoke was something that animals would have on their necks to prevent 
pain or discomfort, but they work together. Come on, Jesus, you just got to allow him to come into your life. You can live the stress-free life. I have one more scripture. Let's see. Matthew eleven twenty nine thirty. 30, say, take my yoke upon you. Learn of me. And you know what? I'm going to finish this up next Wednesday. Amen. Say, I'm too blessed to be stressed. To annoy to be disappointed. You say, well, wait a minute, Pastor. How can I? Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Let's receive him now as your Lord and your Savior. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, I believe that you died on the cross for me. They put you in a grave. You're no longer there because you has a risk. Have arisen, God raised you from the dead. Dear Lord Jesus, come in my life, my heart. Save me. Forgive me of all my sins, Lord. Thank you. I thank you. My name is written in the last book of life. You are my Lord, my Savior, directing my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for everybody tuning in. I'll be back next Wednesday, 730. God bless everybody. We thank you for tuning in to another broadcast of Exciting Life. With your host, Darlene and Sarah. Okay, Reverend Darlene. Thank you, DJ Brenda. Have a blessed day. You too, and I'll talk to you next Wednesday. Yes, bless you now. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. She is so sweet. You know, and that's God that brings sweet people in your life. She's the DJ and we're doing it remotely, but she makes it so easy. Glory to God. Evangel Sarah Bell says, thank you, Lord, in advance. Thank you, Sarah. She said, God is processing our telemate miracles. God bless you too. Good show. Thank you. You know, I'm going to continue with that um, stress-free life. You have to you got, of course, you got to take out a lot of Jesus time. And you can just do it in little bitty increments, little here, little there, a little everywhere. <laughs> but if you are mommy, take some me time. If you have to go in the basement, uh, <laughs> I used to, when my kids were little, go in the bathroom. I, mommy, and they would still be out the door. Mommy, mommy. But that's where I had a lot of me time, a lot of Jesus time. And I still get a lot of revelation. I've shared that in my bathroom. Hello. Thank you, Jesus. Well, listen, my friend, this is a wrap up of another show. Tomorrow, I just want to remind you, I will be live on, write this down, L-I-C-M-C dot net. With the show, and that's London's radio streaming. Shout out to you, London. Her own radio show streaming live. Shout out to you, Irene, because I know. See, that's why I talk about mothers and daughters. Isn't that so beautiful? Like, and, and sons that help. That's a blessing. My children now are every last one of them, are all my co laborers. In fact, shout out to all my children. All my, uh, what is it, sons, daughters in law, <laughs> grandbabies. Shout out to uh, Excite Life Christian Center. One more time. Happy birthday, baby Andre. And for tomorrow, happy birthday, Angelo. Amen. But listen, my friend, that's L-I-C-M-C dot net tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Moments of inspiration with yours truly, Pastor Darling Bell. And uh, also, Church Flow every Sunday, 1 p.m., right here, live on Facebook Live. Live on the Facebook Live. Amen. Well, we have church. It's not church as usual, but it is church. You say, well, Pastor Johnny, what about your physical bill? It's coming soon. We're closer today than we were yesterday. Hello. <laughs> oh, we amen, amen, amen. Let me see what else I talked about the, the uh, TV show. And tonight, help me say tonight, tonight, tonight. Bring your shouting shoes. Bring your own praise. <laughs> so that would be a B Y O P. <laughs> Bring your own praise for a five minute praise break. And we're going to, child, we're going to pray that and thank God we are too blessed to be stressed, living the stress free life. Come on, lift your hands up now. Say, thank you, Jesus. 
Come on, Lord, I give all my cares to you. I thank you, God, that you keep me in perfect peace because my mind is on you. And if you don't have a hunger and a thirst and an appetite for Jesus, pray. He will give it to you. Because the more time you spend with him, the more your spiritual appetite will increase. And you say, what time is the praise break tonight? Not sure. So I will put it on the page, the very page you're watching. Darling Bell, parentheses, Pastor Darling Bell, it'll be on that page. I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm thinking probably in the 10 o'clock area, 10 o 5, 10 30, but I'll put it on there. Amen. Amen. But I want you to join me, bring your shouting shoes, bring your own praise, and we're going to have a good time in the Lord. Just what? Thanking God. Thanking him for what? Child, you hear this? Thank him for life, for waking him, for waking you up. Clothes, uh, is this how you all do it? Clothes on your back, <laughs> shoes on your feet, a wonderful, beautiful place to live. Amen. I thank God for Studio B. I'll be in Studio A on tonight. Food, everything, power. Ooh, Lord, thank you for the power, electricity. Just thank you for everything. God, you're so good. And I thank you, Lord. You died on the cross. For me, if I had been the only person on this earth, you still would have died. And thank you, Lord. You didn't stay in the grave. Oh, child, thank you, Lord. You came out of that grave and you are alive and you are the Lord of my life. And you make life so anxiety. So much happiness with you, Jesus. <laughs> so listen, thank you, Evangelist Sarah Bell. She said, God is processing our telling make miracles right now. Yes, in the name of Jesus, she said, God bless you too. Good show. And my friend, listen, I have another, uh, I have a page on YouTube, and it's Pastor Darling Bell. Go to YouTube, and that's where you'll see most of the praise breaks, most of the Sight Life Christian uh, Center ministry shows, and I, I want to get some more stuff <laughs> on there, and I will, <laughs> but, uh, you know, become a subscriber, <laughs> but it's a good place, child. You talking about going to a filling station? Woo! Get your joy tank, your peace tank filled. Woo! It's a good place. So we touch and agree right now that God is processing our tell and make miracle. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. The Lord keep you in perfect peace. The Lord bless you going out. You're coming in. You're lying down. You rise up. The Lord heal your body. The Lord keep you from all sickness, all anything that will hurt you. But the Lord lay his hands on you and heal you, woman. Heal you, man. The Lord take stress. so out of your life. The Lord keep you happy. The Lord just bless everything that you set your hands to do. In the name of Jesus, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the Lord bless you, bless you, bless you, strengthen you, and cause no weapon that's formed against you to prosper. The Lord just keep you, protect you, hide you, bless you. And no child of God, the best is on the way that's yet to come. I love you, but God loves you more. See you tonight. Praise break, five minute praise break with who? The Lord Jesus Christ. Who else? Pastor Darlene Bell and who else? And the VIPs. You say VIPs, what is that? You need a ticket. Very intense praisers. Woohoo. <laughs> I love you all. See you tonight.